Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Signal here and welcome back to another video. So let's see how much we can get out of my 3 star blue beetle. Because this is quite a unique opportunity because I'm getting passive stats from my Joker S bat ranks, which is great. We got Dark Mellow cards here and we got nothing on Grods. Bro, good thing I showed the artifacts. For the amount of fights that get actually saved by me showing artifacts because I forgot to equip one of them, it's actually pretty decent, pretty sizable. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have Grod because Blue Beetle, even though he does most of his damage with basic hit, is very power generation hungry. And this is gonna definitely help him out. It, keep in mind, it's only a 3 star Blue Beetle. This is far from the the best Blue Beetle can do. And also far from what you would usually expect out of Blue Beetle, because yet again I'm getting passive sets from an artifact that I was gonna use for healing damage anyway. Gonna change my class real quick. Can use a terror special. Not gonna be terribly effective because it gives you fast attack hits depending on how many augments we we have. And I had zero there. Maybe I should have waited until I got like one. I okay, got two augments. Let's wait for three of them before resetting that. They seem to be getting that relatively fast. Okay, we got the third augment, so we can do super. Let's tag out just to be safe, though. I probably. Yeah, Blue Beetle would have been fine there. Whatever. Okay, let me get some fast tech kits from that. And let's get this going. Okay, get back in there. Bro, it's lagging so hard on Blue Beetle too. I mean, it doesn't really matter on Blue Beetle. Because we get the unhittable thing, but... I have no idea why Joker's bet rings are lagging so hard for me. Okay, let's get that again, because we are kind of running out. Kind of need to reset my unhittable as well here. Overall, we got a lot of fast tech hits in there. Oh boy, we're, we're gonna deal a lot of damage here. And honestly, unless you're using something like uh, Raven, I think this is the optimal setup. Because you really need that power generation from Grodd, I feel like. My bad there. We're gonna need to reset the third special as well. Need to reset the unhittable. Oh boy, this is a lot of goddamn damage. Again, this is not what you'll usually see from Blue Beetle because I'm using a pay to win artifact. Not the greatest pay to win artifact, but very good on Blue Beetle specifically. And uh, I have a lot of passive stats here, but this is this is pretty decent damage for my three star Blue Beetle. Let me let me show you how he looks like. Okay, so this is my Blue Beetle with 2.2k attack. Like, nah, bro. And um, we also have the Joker Eyes Bat Ranks here. Which also could be a lot better, because if we take a look at the bonuses here, it's it's nothing. I mean, some lethal damage in there, but I could... I mean, I have some... Let's well, do some rolls, boys. I always like to do the artifact rolls in the middle of streams, because... I mean, now it's not that much of a premium currency, because you get it from um, League Invasions, but... Used to be a lot more of a premium currency. I don't care about Dot and Hazard Dot on those ones, because we simply don't do that much of it with this equip. What I mainly care about is lethal damage, that's all I want. Health, bro. 5.7k health, that's kind of tempting for League Invasions, but no. Come on, buddy. Oh, no. 
Bro, such a waste so far. Come on. I don't care about damage on third special. Attack? Nah, bro. We're not replacing common lethal damage with attack. Oh, we got the rare lethal damage. Probably I should not reroll the lethal damage first. I guess I was being overly optimistic in terms of what we would get. Dot and Hazard Dot. I don't need that here. Attack? Nah, bro. Lethal damage. We got the common. That's fine. Yeah, I'm probably gonna play this again tomorrow to see the difference by having some lethal damage on the draw prize bet ranks. A power generation, I mean, that's better than damage on special one, I guess. For most things. And we have some common ones. Oh, an epic power generation. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Come on, give me more lethal damage. Yeah, pretty frustrating that I'm doing this after the fight and not before it, but it is what it is. Nah, we're gonna keep the power generation, actually. Yeah, let's move on to the next fight. Oh, by the way, sorry for the weird camera angle. It's like that because of a previous video. Uh, but we got Peacemaker. I mean, it was like that. I fixed it. Black Adam with Dark Metal cards for past fights and Hawkman with Beta Club, I guess. I was thinking what to put on this sim, and I was like, if I'm gonna play the sim, I'm just gonna put Beta Club on Hawkman, because I want the guarantee to at least deal 400 mil damage, okay? I'm, I'm sorry. But it's gotten to that point with this team. Okay, that's infinite power. Let's see if we can keep it. Do I doubt it? Oh, actually we can. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Also super with Peacemaker while we're here, because that gives you a bit of a buff. Also, I got the comment on how why the enemy is still in the corner after I do the Peacemaker super because we disable their movement and they can't move from there. Pretty funny interaction, actually. Somebody also said that they are not in the corner. I think they are. Let, let me check. Let me get let that movement. Oh, we, we are at 20 stacks though. Might as well tank the super and tag Hawkman in. Okay, that one crits. Okay, that's pretty decent. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. I think they were not fully in the corner. They were just stuck in place. Yeah, they weren't in the corner. So it moves them, but they seem like they are in the corner because they cannot move any longer. I guess the third special is the most convenient to just spam. There we go. It's the flawed justice if anybody was missing them. But yeah, let's move on to the next fight. We're gonna kill this man real quick with the Batman and the Drown team. I, I hate this man and I don't want to give him a mini opportunity to be able to do something to me. Because he's got that special one that removes all the negative effects from him. This is definitely applicable to this team, but he's not gonna get a chance to do that. Hopefully. Back off a bit, and yeah, let's get this going. Let's drop a special one in there. I just spam third special. Gonna soon have super move, so I guess we can tank that for Robin King. I mean, in theory, we don't really need to tag Batman on the drown to be fair, because we can just keep Robin King in there. He generates Christ's energy, but kind of slow. And I'm double tapping that special one and wasting it, by the way. I just noticed. Okay, get that turn drum back in there. One more activation will definitely do the job. 
Okay, 40 mil per second is pretty good. So again, Batman Drowned would do more damage if she had like maybe Kamido with Dagger. Maybe in other situations would do more damage, but this situation brings me convenience. That's what Robin King brings to the, to the table. Over here, I'm gonna use the Moral Combat team, and they really did some work on my Raven trying to raise his attack stat. I class to send him a bit more. I want to get him hopefully to the point where I can do 2 billion damage with him without having passive stats from either God Killer or Dark Mellow cards. I think it's a long way until there, but it might be possible. So I'm not really banking on the class ascension passive. That's going to be mostly garbage. Or if it's good, it's going to be only good against specific bosses that have very high attack, so it's not going to be always reliable, and I don't like that. But yeah, let's see what we can do here. Also, when I'm going to use him without Scorpion, I'm not going to use him like this, with this setup, because I'm, if I'm not getting passive tests from, like, God Killer, which I'm not over here, but we're fine here, because we get from Dark Melokers, but if I have only... Bro, what? 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 Did you, did you did just beat Scorpion in a jump attack duel? That's illegal. But yeah, usually I'm probably gonna use Nora Snow Globe on Scorpion to get the permanent dot every draw rate and then keep him in the fight for the entirety of the fight, which I find to be more optimal for damage. Bro, 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 chill. It's, this is why I don't like this specific way of playing it. I mean, it kind of works, but you're so reliant and so annoyed by the enemy's activities, basically. It's we're at Slaughterman's mercy if she decides to not jump out of everything then we're gonna have a very good time if she decides to jump out of everything then we're gonna have a very bad time but yeah really curious if i can get my raid into not relying on having two passive stat artifacts on this thing to work Though, considering the Nora Snow Globe strategy, Dark Mellow cards and Gut here, there's three soul rates where this is viable and this is going to do 2 billion damage in most scenarios. But for the other soul rates, you're going to struggle. It's very weird to have a team that's guaranteed, almost guaranteed 2 billion damage in three of the soul rates randomly. Drop a third special in there, jump attack. Let's keep going. Fight okay, there we go. Let's move on to the next fight. Over here we're gonna use Batman Jacketman with Joker as batterings yet again and I went into the settings and I turned off the damage numbers to see if that helps in any way with the lag that's specifically generated by Joker as batterings fights. So let's see how this goes. Again with Blue Beetle I don't care because the enemy's not gonna hit me anyway so I don't need to combo and drop but with Jacketman it actually matters. Oh bro it feels so weird to not see damage numbers. How do you people live like this? Oh boy, this is awful. I'm sorry if you... By the way, the option to activate damage numbers is not available for everybody. Because your Android store might be like, Nah, bro, your phone is too weak. You can't have damage numbers. Bro, this is awful. I'm so sorry for you. But it's probably because I'm just so used to damage numbers. But nah, this, this doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel okay. At some point, all the people on iPhone had to turn off damage numbers collectively because every single fight was lagging. That must have sucked. You know, let's try... Let oh, it works! Actually works. Actually not having lag here. That's great. That's absolutely great. The 
It's gonna be less damage than usual anyway, because I don't have Plastic Wonder Woman available. Still lagging a bit, it's still lagging a bit, but very slight. I can definitely deal with this. This is very manageable amount of lag. But again, it's so weird to not have my damage numbers. I'm getting the third special anymore, screw that. Oh boy, I feel like we're doing very well here. Maybe we'll try this with Classic Wonder Woman tomorrow. Though I don't have a target available like I can combo and drop. Like literally all the bosses in this tier are cursed. They're not cursed in terms of they are extremely hard to beat, but they're just inconvenient to beat. You're not gonna have a good time fighting them. You can definitely fight them easily enough. But oh boy, we're playing so well here when I'm not actually lagging. And this makes me feel real good, because I felt guilty every single time I blame lag in this fight, because I was like, ah, I'm just bad at combo and dropping and I'm using that as an excuse. It's not enough of a lag for me to not combo and drop because of it. But yeah, it's the lag. Look at this, look at this, this is beautiful. Can't wait to try Classic Wonder Woman here and slap that 2 billion damage. Look at this, 1.7. This is by far the absolute best outcome I've ever gotten of Batman Jack Edelman. This is, this is great. But yeah, let me turn back on my damage numbers because this is this is cursed. I don't know how some of you guys live like this. Like, I'm sorry for you. And for last fight, I'm actually going to leave the damage numbers off because I'm going to use Joker's Bet Rings again on Manta. Raven. Raven with Dark Metal cards and John here with a level uh, 9 uh, End of Zatanna. This man's Zable special once so is going to be a bit inconvenient for Raven. Oh, I hope I have the gears on Manta because I think I removed them at some point for something. No, I put them back on for the Aquaman fight. We're good. We're good. So yet again, it feels so weird to not have my damage numbers on. Like this man because I want shields active on both Manta and Raven. But it seems to be pretty convenient actually. As well super move here. Oh Raven is not gonna reach enough. Not gonna reach four power bars fast enough, I think. Yeah, I really messed this one up and probably Manta lost his stacks by now too. Yeah, really my bad here. So inconvenient to not have special one actually. Manta lost stacks again. Okay, you know what? Just stack. Oh, no. Bro, everything went well in this video. Everything he even portrayed me. Everything went well in this video. I had to. I had to mess one fight up. It wouldn't be a stable video if I didn't mess something up. So it's not over until it's over. We might still get a surprise here. Oh, my bad. Uh, Manta, Manta, please don't tell me you lost the stacks. You, he lost the stacks. I guess we might as well start to play Joker as Badgerons, bro. We're running out of time so badly here. With the third special, it's a lot more convenient to reset the darkness. But until now, I would not have the, had the power to do it and stack fast or have enough energy for Joker as veterans too. But this looks hopeful. This actually looks hopeful. Because we're dealing some pretty serious amounts of damage. I don't know how much, but well, I can tell you that his health is definitely going down. Okay, despite my best efforts, we actually cleared this. Oh boy, I 1000% did not deserve to get a one-shot here. 
Yo, I've been sitting so much for watching. Like the video if you liked it, dislike if you liked it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.